In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a transition between two template drops using Open Roads technology in Power Inroads Select Series 4. You can see in this drawing that I have already placed a corridor. In this corridor, I've named Highway 431. And on this corridor, I have also placed two template drops. So the first template drop is located here. My second template drop is here. Now before we get started placing the transition, let's go ahead and take a look at the two template drops I've already placed. So if I select the template drop, and then select Edit Template Drop, you can see in the Edit Roadway Designer Template Drop dialog that this is a two-lane rural section. It's got a shoulder on either side. Now for my second template drop, we'll do the same thing. I'll select it and then select Edit Template Drop. And you can see here that the second template drop is a four-lane divided highway with a ditch in the median. So what I want to do is transition between the two-lane highway to the four-lane divided in this area here. Now one of the first things that you want to decide is how long you want your transition to be. So let's say for this exercise that we want a 100 foot transition. So I can go in and take a look at this template drop and I can see that it ends at station 8 plus 50. And if I take a look at this one, you can see that it begins at station 9 plus 7, 5. So in order to make this 100 foot transition, we'll need to edit one or the other. So let's go ahead and just edit this one to 9 plus 50. You can see that the template will update and we now have the 100 foot transition area. The next step will be to place the transition and that can be done from the civil tools under the corridor modeling section and the tool is create transition. When I select that I'm prompted to locate the first template drop and then the second and the corridor will process and the transition will be added. Now if we take a closer look at this, you can see that some of the features that occur in this second template drop are not being transitioned to the first template drop properly. So we'll need to go in and do some manual editing of that transition in order to correct these issues. So to do that, I'll select the Edit Transition tool. I'm prompted to locate the transition. And this will bring up the Edit Transition dialog. So what you're looking at here is a representation of the first template and the second template. And these lines are used to map the points between the first template and the second, and it gives you a representation of how the template will be transitioning. So you can see here clearly that some of the feature points that occur in the second template are not present in this first template, so Open Roads was unable to automatically map between those two. So we'll have to go in and do that manually. Now I can also see that there appears to be a problem here with these two lines, so we'll want to correct that as well. So let's begin by just deleting those. So I'll right click and select delete. Right click again and select delete. Another thing I want to point out is that if you hover over one of the points in either of the templates, and right click, 
you can select Move Template, and this allows you to move one of the templates around so that you can get an optimal view for mapping these template points. Okay, the way that I prefer to map my points is to start on the outside and work my way in. So let's begin by correcting the points that uh, we just deleted. So it's pretty obvious that this one's going to need to be mapped here. Likewise, this one will need to be mapped here. Okay, so moving from right to left, we'll need to map these two points back to the original. Here's where we need to decide if we want to transition and add the outside lane or add the inside lane during our transition. Generally, you're going to add the outside lane, so that's what we'll do here. So in order to do that, we will map this point back to here, and we'll map this point back to here. Do the same thing on the other side. So you can move it around, you can start to see a picture of how it's going to transition. So you can see here that the two outside lines are going to be added as you move along the transition. So now let's work on the middle section in the ditch. We'll start by mapping this top of pavement point to here, and then this bottom section down to here. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Now for most of the rest of these points, what we'll do is map them to this very top point. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now you can see that all the points along our template are accounted for. So I'll click OK. And we get this reminder that says, in order for the transition to work properly, the appropriate constraints on the points that are transitioning must be removed. So we'll do that in the next step. I'll select OK. And this brings us into our Edit Transition Midpoint dialog. And you have a slider here that allows you to look at the start station to the end station and see how the templates are behaving along the transition. So you can see nothing's happening right now, and that's because we haven't released any constraints. I generally like to move my transition to the start and begin working there, releasing constraints. So to do that, I will right click on the points and delete both constraints. So it'll start to look odd as we do this until we get to the end here. You can see as I do this, we're working to get this uh, start of the transition looking like that first template. So I'll continue moving along here, deleting these constraints. 
So you see we're getting pretty close here to this two lane section that we have in that first template drop. Got a little bit of work to do here in the median. So this looks pretty good. This looks like our two lane section that we would have at the start. And we can slide along here. And as we do that, you can see the highway begin to divide. The ditch and the shoulder sections are created. And if we slide all the way to the end, you can see, and you can also see as you slide along that the outside line is getting added in. And at the very end, we have fully transitioned to the four lane divided highway. So I'll select OK. The corridor will update. And now when we take a look at our features, uh, you can see the transition clearly occurring here between the two template drops.